Hello friends, welcome to another C++ question and this is not the exactly uh, a C++ interview question or something just I wanted to show you this function actually I was going through some article or something and I got this function here okay so we all know that if you want to convert from integer to string there are lots of library functions okay but uh, you don't need to remember any functions if you know this function okay and this is a template function and this is a generic function okay so if you have this 155 which is integer and you are passing this integer into this i to s which is nothing but integer to string and you are just passing this integer it is returning you the string here as you can see and you are printing that so first just simply compile this code and check whether it is working or not and after that i will show you the importance of this one so stick to this video just don't just run away from here okay so we will compile this g plus plus convert mm -hmm. it is compiling and running it is giving you this 155 155 so this ss is the string and this p is your character pointer okay so actually there is no difference here so simply i shall remove this one from here and here okay so this is your new code from now onwards and this time you sent integer now i'm going to show you the magic let's suppose you are having this a floating point like 155.4 and this is not integer this is float okay then in that case this is going to return you 155.4 okay we can compile this we can check this see 155.4 and this ss is this one and whatever you are printing is a string not this float okay so this is the beauty of this whole function whatever number or whatever thing you have you just pass that into this function and you will get the string out of it okay before it was not that easy you need to remember what the functions like integer to string a to i or something or i to a i don't remember that but here you don't need to remember anything and what is happening here if you know string stream then it will be very easy for you so you are just passing this 155.4 which is making this whole template function as float here so this t will get replaced with float and that float will be inserted into this s this s is nothing but string stream okay and this is overloaded function it means float is getting into the string stream and from that whole stream you are just returning the string part of that okay so there is a stream it has stream of values from those values you are getting the string and that string is nothing but your 155.4 okay and if you are passing character let's suppose it is something like this character pointer and this is enclosed inside characters okay like this one then what should be the value here let's check i never checked like this it will give you this is a warning let's see yeah see it is working it is just a warning saying that iso forbids string con constant character pointer okay so this should be like this const okay if you compile this one there is no problem and run see it is working so as i said it is going to work for all the data types which is overloaded in string stream okay so like character integer flow double and all those inbuilt data types will work here okay so i just kind of thought like i should include this video in my video series and maybe you enjoyed it i don't know thanks for watching and if you like the video please like that would help me a lot see you in the next video